two sources of blood vessels that supply to the brain, mm -hmm. which are anteriorly the internal carotid arteries. We call this carotid system. Posteriorly, you have the vertebral arteries. We call this vertebral system. So, vertebral and the carotid systems supply blood to the brain. Now, let's review, review the vertebral arteries. First, look at it. Down here, you have the vertebral arteries. Can you see that? The vertebral arteries. These are the vertebral arteries. The vertebral arteries arise from the subclavian arteries on both sides. And then they ascend through the A transverse ring of the vertebral cervical vertebrae, right? Yeah. And then they enter the cranial cavity, posterior cranial cavity through the foramen magnum. magnum. Very good. Foramen magnum. And then once they are inside the posterior cranial cavity, they give off this branch. Can you see this one? This is the this is the posterior the inferior cerebral 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 artery. artery. We call this shortly pica. pica. Pica also gives off posterior spinal artery. You see that? Posterior spinal artery is a branch of the pica. Pica also supplies blood to inferior one third of the cerebellum, inferior one third of the cerebellum. Good. And then vertebral arteries ascend the way that, that they get, uh, they approximate each other actually. Before they join each other, from their medial surfaces, a small tweak arises. Do you, you see those small tweaks here? Yeah. Those small tweaks unite and form the anterior, anterior spinal artery. Yeah. This is the anterior spinal artery. On the proximal and anterior surface of the, the medulla oblongata, two vertebral arteries join together and form the basilar, basilar artery. artery. This is the basilar artery. Basilar artery runs in the basilar southwest of the pons, on the anterior or ventral surface of the pons. The first branch of the basilar artery is this one. So, you see there? Can yeah. you remember this one? Ica. This is the Ica, anterior inferior cerebellar artery. It supplies middle one third there. of the cerebellum. And after giving this Ica, the basal artery gives off labyrinth. another prominent artery. That's the labyrinth artery. Labyrinthine artery. It supplies the ocellus and membranes labyrinth of the inner ear. Yes. And there is a nerve coming out between these two arteries. Can you remember that nerve? This is, uh, that is the abducens. Good. Abducens. That's the abducens. Six granular nerve innervating the lateral rectus muscle. Good. And then basal artery gives off superior cerebellar artery. Can you see that? This yeah. is the superior cerebellar artery. Superior cerebellar artery. Superior cerebellar artery. And the, the superior cerebellar artery supplies upper one third of the cerebellum. Then the basal artery ends up with two terminal branches, mm -hmm. which are called posterior cerebral, posterior cerebral artery. artery. This is the posterior cerebral artery. Now, there are two nerves passing through between the posterior cerebral artery and superior cerebellar artery. One is running medially, that is what? Oculomotor. Oculomotor. The other running more laterally, that's the trochlear nerve. That's the trochlear nerve, very good. And then, look at here, you have a vessel 
This is called posterior communicating artery. This is the posterior communicating, communicating artery. artery. Posterior communicating artery. This posterior communicating artery is considered a branch of the internal carotid artery. So the, the branch of the internal carotid artery is the posterior, posterior communicating, communicating artery, artery, which communicates or which connects, which connects internal carotid to the posterior cerebral artery. Now, here is the internal carotid artery. Internal carotid artery, remember, it does not give off any branch while it ascends in the neck. But while it gets in the cranial cavity, its first branch is, is the ophthalmic artery, which gets into the orbit through the optic canal. And then it gives off anterior choroidal artery, and then it uh, gives off its two terminal branches. One of them is smaller, the other one is larger. The smaller one is the, or the thinner one is the, anterior cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery. Now let's look at the anterior cerebral artery. This is the anterior cerebral artery. <laughs> two anterior cerebral arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery. And anterior <coughs> cerebral artery supplies the medial, medial surface of the hemisphere anterior to the parieto occipital sulcus. So the anterior to the parieto, parieto occipital sulcus of the hemisphere, <coughs> medial surface of the hemisphere, is supplied by the anterior, anterior cerebral, artery. cerebral artery. Anterior cerebral artery also supplies an area 2.5 centimeters lateral to the medial surface of each hemisphere. So this area, 2.5 centimeters in, in uh, whiteness, in white, supplied by also anterior cerebral artery. When the arterial cerebral artery is uploaded, what kind of symptoms do you expect? Well, contralateral to the lesion. They're going to have like paralysis and the lower, paralysis of the lower limbs. Lower limb. And this function of the sensory dysfunction, contralateral to the lower limb. Yeah. I mean, the, from uh, contralateral to the lesion, from the lower limb. Good. And then other, uh, the other larger branch of the internal carotid artery is the middle cerebral. Middle Cerebral, cerebral artery. Yeah. Middle cerebral artery is this one. Here is the middle cerebral artery. Middle cerebral artery supplies most of the lateral surface of the hemisphere. Except for the 2.5 centimeters area just next to the longitudinal fissure or the medial surface of the hemisphere and inferolateral surface of the temporal lobe, inferolateral surface of the temporal lobe, is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery I will talk about. So, in, when the uh, middle meningeal, I am sorry, middle cerebral artery is uploaded, what symptoms do you expect to have? Uh, uh, paralysis, paralysis of the upper trunk. limb and the, trunk. the face. Okay upper limb and the face, not only the paralysis, but also the loss of sensation yeah. or the sensory dysfunction yeah. from the upper limb and the face region. Yeah. Good. Now remember, the terminal branch of the basal artery is the posterior, posterior cerebral, cerebral artery. artery. Good. Now let's look at the posterior cerebral artery, which is this one. This is the posterior cerebral artery. Remember, this is the anterior cerebral artery. Here you have the middle cerebral artery. Posterior cerebral artery, just look at this model. This supplies to where? Supplies the medial surface of the occipital lobe. 
mainly supplied with kidneys and part of the pre kidneys. Also supplies the uh, spleening of the corpus callosum, spleening of the corpus callosum. And supplies the inferior surface of the temporal lobe. Also supplies to the inferolateral surface of the temporal lobe. Okay. <laughs>